Ugen och munen flöja varje dag jorden grund i fyr. Och ek av hugen ett han efter när kommit så sjönt mer om munen. everybody hail and welcome back to another episode of Midgard Musings thank you so much for joining me today my name is Jesse and I'm the host here on this channel if this is your first time checking out my content thank you so much please if you like things pertaining to Norse heathenry Germanic paganism what is modernly referred to quite often as also true um, check down uh, in the description for all the ways that you can support the channel first of all and if you like what you see click that subscribe button don't forget to enable bell notifications it's just that little gray bell that appears after you click the subscribe button it'll notify you every time I upload new content and you will be kind of in the loop of things whenever I do put new videos out here every week so appreciate all of your support uh, and supporting Midgard Musings for as long as we have going on a little over two years running right now which is amazing so thank you all again so much uh, today's video is a uh, continuation of a four-part mini-series that I'm doing here right now about uh, the parts of self, okay, or examining the parts of self. So if you want to call it like a soul complex de delve, de deep dive <laughs> into uh, what the Norse have uh, understood as their, the soul complex, um, talking today about another part of the self that um, kind of follows off from the part that we spoke of last week, which was the part of self called the Hummer. All right, you'll check uh, the annotated card that appears as well as in the end screen for that video. Um, be sure to check that out so that way you're up to speed on all of that. Um, but today's video is going to be on the part of the self called the Huger, okay? I'm really looking forward to doing this particular part because this part of the self um, really has to do with us as individuals specifically and with us as individuals directly, okay? So I've got some notes here that I'm going to be reading from because my thought and my memory sometimes tend to run away from me. As I read to you from uh, Grimnismal, uh, the part of uh, uh, the poem there where Odin says that his two ravens, thought and memory, fly out every day uh, over the world. And he fears for the return of thought, but he fears mostly uh, or fears more for the return of memory. I wanted to cite that part uh, of that poem from the Poetic Edda uh, because I think that it has a very close connection to what we're going to be talking about today with regards to the Hugur. So, Hugur uh, comes from an Old Norse word as uh, Hugi, and Hugi is, uh, the meaning of that is, is quite literally thought, okay? Um, it is the rational part of thought, it is the rational uh, part of the cognitive process, okay? The way that we can rationally come up with things and, and, and think about things and, and process things, right? That is our hugi, and that is a part of our self as huger, okay? Um, it, it involves thinking, uh, processing, that left brain part of things. Um, it, it, it can examine the input that we receive and, and break it down into useful data. Right? It's not just that we're receiving everything, it's that we can actually process it and, and turn it into things that are going to be beneficial for us. Um, and, and gives us the ability to surmise, right? draw conclusions, uh, come up with the end result of things be, and, and, and rationalize things that, as we need it. Um, and I feel like it is the literal closest part, or the closest thing, rather, that we have to a personal self, to our personal selves. Um, it's kind of like the I, right? Me, myself, I, uh, the Huger, is the I part of the whole entire spiritual equation that we are getting into when it comes to understanding the various parts of ourselves and of, of the self as perceived and as understood by our uh, ancient ancestors in uh, Northern Europe, in Scandinavia at the time, right? Pre-Christian Scandinavia, of course. Um, so the sum total, uh, the, 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 the all-encompassing kind of just, this is all of it is. This is all of what we got. This is all you. That sum total of our personalities, thoughts, and feelings is what consists of the Huger, right? 
again, we, we're, we're talking about those, those, those rationalizations of the way that we can rationalize and think of things. It, it, it's our personality. Um, it's, our, it's our feelings. It's our will, right? The, our desire, our, 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 our focused will and intent on doing things. Um, it's basically, I think, the core around all other parts of the self that we're going to be going through and over and talking about uh, here in this series. Um, last week, like I said before, when we talked about um, the Homer, um, that's our perceived version of ourselves. That's what other people can often see uh, and, and, and that can ship, uh, shape, shift, <laughs> shift, shape. That's a tongue twister to try to say that nine times fast. Um, but so uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about the comparison, or not maybe not the comparison, but the connection between the Homer and the Huger here in just a moment. But uh, the Huger is a, um, it's, it's the mental lifespan of us, um, of ourselves, of our physical selves. It's, it's the mental part of us. It's, it's that thoughtful, reasoning part of ourselves that has a life, right? It's, it's, it's our individual personalities, it's our individual thoughts. What I think is, is my huger. What my personality is, um, is, is, is quite often uh, my huger, and it's tied to me, even though there are per, per perceptions of me that I can change and shift and shape and appearance for others to see, and that, and that part of myself that I can use to, uh, um, to, to, to travel uh, on spiritual journeys in a trance-like state, that's the, that's the homer, but the huger, is our personality. What you see is what you get. Um, the feelings, the desires, what we want, what we need, what we look to obtain. Those those core things are our huger. Now, as we talked about uh, a little while ago and as I went into further last week, the Homer being that perceived version of ourselves that can oftentimes, oftentimes change or, or, or uh, shift in its shape and appearance, okay? It's fluid. It's it's it's, it's ever changing. It's ever flexing, if you will, uh, and, and and it has that flexibility. Um, the difference between that and the huger is that, right? Huger is is generally a bit more of a static thing, and it's always and and or at least generally tied to um, that one person, and it stays with that one person. My part of the self that travels, that goes, or that can potentially travel and see other parts of the world and in other parts of the realms even in our spiritual journeys that can be perceived as maybe not person but a bit more animis, animalistic. Um, the Huger is not that part. The Homer is that part. The Huger stays with me. The Huger stays with us as individuals. The Huger is what stays with you and what stays in, implanted with you uh, throughout your life and it is, it is tied to you directly. It can be at times something that um, sort of creates effects as I understand like you, you can you can think about something so much you can think about another person's personality so much I think I think I think that probably the best way that I could uh, bring this about is sometimes you ever get that feeling that um, you get somebody on your mind you get to thinking about somebody you know this one person maybe who you haven't thought of in a really long time or or, or haven't had a lot of dealings with in a really long time you go man I wonder what's going on with that person what what is happening with uh, the, the, this person who I used to talk to a lot, who I used to have a lot of dealings with, and a lot of interactions, used to hang out all the time, we haven't, and now all of a sudden you get that feeling of what's going on with them. There is a way, and, and there are at times, that one can create an effect in someone far away um, just by thinking about them in a certain way. And that's the feeling that I think that we get at times when either Someone thinks about us, and then they reach out to us, hey, haven't, haven't talked to you in a long time, you know, just wondering what's going on, or we do that to someone else. We say, hey, haven't talked to you in a long time, how's, how's life going, how's mom, how's the kids, what's, you know, what's life like in your neighborhood? It's because that will, that intent, that focused, you know, desire of our huger, or their huger, is, is, is in, in influencing the other in such a way that because of, of, of that strength, you can have people who have exceptionally strong huger that can influence others in unfaraway places like that. So it's a fascinating part of the self that is tied to ourselves, it stays with ourselves, but it does and can potentially create some sort of effect or have an influence on others in that sort of way. Now, in wrapping things up, okay, I think that we are all facing 
ton. We were all facing uh, various levels of stress and, and worry and concern, uh, especially nowadays because of this whole global pandemic, the whole COVID-19 thing. Um, we're all in various levels of, of stress or concern, right? We have family members, we have loved ones, we have things we want to try to do. A lot of people are worried nowadays. A lot of people are feeling that heightened anxiousness and heightened anxiety. Um, and I wanted to put a bit of focus on the Hoover now, and this is again, this wasn't planned because how was I to know things were going to be the way they are now? But it is interesting timing wise because, um, because you know, Hoover is us, right? Hoover is our, is our, it's tied to us, it's our individual, it's our personality, it's our thought, it's our rationale, it's, it's the way we can process things. A lot of that is being tested now. Our processing skills, the way we can rationalize things, the, 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 all of that is being tested as all that is being um, we're, we're, we're seeing a lot of, of difficult times that, that are that are making things challenging and I think that right now um, in these times of, of stress we, 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 we look to um, draw inward we look to come back to our to our sources we go back to our roots we, we pull inward to our homes we pull inward to our loved ones and by doing so, by doing so, by, by focusing more inward, by t stop worrying about the life and the world of, of others around us who we don't really need to be concerned with, while we're focusing now on ourselves and our inner yards, our inundar, um, it allows us to focus on our huger, right? To strengthen our huger, to strengthen our thought, to strengthen our, our personalities, our knowledge, our, you know, rational thinking and and it gives us opportunity to do studies to do reading to do you know uh, things that build a good strong mental state because a lot of places right now are under executive orders and when you can't go out don't leave home don't go mingle with people stay home stay focused and I think that now in modern times as heathens uh, in, in heathens in modern times that we are we need to get back to that, guys. We need to get back to focusing inner and not worrying so much about what's going on in the outside world. Um, our ancient ancestors didn't care so much. They focused on what was within. They focused on what was close to them and they focused on what was, you know, the, the most parts of, of their huger, the, 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 the individual parts of themselves, uh, how they could benefit their community, their, their clans, their tribes. And that's kind of, I think, what we need to get into doing more nowadays. So I'm glad that the, the discussion of Hoover came up now because I think this is a time when we need to focus on it more. And I'm anxious to hear what all you think. So please down in the comment section, let me know what you thought of this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share these videos, guys. We are under quarantine, so many of us. We're, we're, we're being told to, to not leave, to not go anywhere, to stay put. Now is a great time to share this stuff around. Get caught up on some of the videos that I do. Get caught up on some of the other material that you uh, are, are focusing on in your own spiritual path. I appreciate everyone's support in watching these videos, commenting, sharing, subscribing, all that great stuff. It means the world to me, especially now when so much craziness is going on. So please, again, down in the comment section, let me know what you thought of this video and give me your thoughts on the Hoover and how you are able nowadays to focus on your Hoover. All right. So I look forward to reading everybody's comments down here. Thank you all again so much for your support. Hail, stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video.